for both of you as you went back and kind of looked over tape from um from the sun game out there what kind of stood out to you did you feel any differently about anything that you did uh immediately post game um i mean well i was able to watch um from the bench a lot more than christy but well i didn't say sorry <laughs> but no um I mean, we had a little slip ups in the transition D and just on a defensive end. Um, if we come back and tidy those things up, it would be a much better game for us. Yeah, uh, rebounding the basketball is obviously a key for us. Um, you know, getting good looks on offense will help us, you know, get back in transition and limiting transition baskets as well. Um, you know, it's a paint swarm game. So we have to collapse the paint, make them play inside to out. Um, and then finish with the rebound. So I think overall, like our, our effort, our focus has to be a little sharper. And we spoke about that as a team after last game, but um, we're looking forward to it. Good good way to bounce back and uh, play the same team again, treat it like a series and, and see how we respond. And we kind of got a little bit physical after that first quarter for the rest of the game. Did that kind of knock the, the rhythm of the offense off a little bit from your perspective? Um, well, we know Connecticut is always a physical team and game. So, I mean, we knew what to expect. So we want to expect that again tonight. Yeah. You guys like playing this, this, um, you know, they've scheduled these a lot more um, in these last couple of years where you play the same team in, in like a three game, three day stretch. Do you, do you like that quick turnaround around the, um, against the same team? Just that kind of format that they have? Or does not matter really? I mean, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. No, I mean, it poses just, you know, playoff basketball style approach, I think, if more than anything. Um, but they've done on the NBA side and the W side now. So I think it's just is what it is. And I don't think we care who we play. We're just ready to play. Uh, I want to ask you about Slim. What's, what's something that she doesn't get enough love for that doesn't get talked about enough? Um, I think, you know, she's trying to step into more of a leadership uh, role. I think using her voice. Um, a bit more um, than I've observed, like in the past. I think that's that's an area of growth for her. Um, you know her on the defensive side of the ball is what she's known for offensively slashing. Um, her three point shot has improved, and that's something that she's going to continue to work out work on as far as spacing the floor. Um, but I just think her overall IQ has has improved um, a lot in the past couple of years. You know, she's one of those energetic players that kind of brings a lot of juice, and you know what she's getting out and getting turnovers and going the other way with it, you know, everybody kind of gets a little hype. Does, does that kind of trend, or maybe that's my question, does that kind of transfer over to you guys? Do you guys feel that energy that she brings? Does that contagious, for lack of a better word? I mean, sure. I mean, we have a lot of energy bunnies on this team. Um, I think she's just, one, you know, another layer to it. Um, you know, certainly Tosh is probably the leader in all things energy um, <laughs> on this team. Um, but Slim is just right behind her. And so it's, it's nice to have that, you know, one, two punch, especially on the defensive end, translating defense to offense, getting down the paint, um, getting into the lane, um, very similar. All right, we can transition to um, Zoom, Jen. Hey, Christy, hey, Tiana. Um, Christy, if I can start with you, just wanted to get your thoughts on uh, the rare player that you haven't played with before, uh, Shakira, after her strong performance the other night. Just what are your thoughts overall on on playing with her and, and how she's looked? Yeah, that's I was honestly thinking about her last night, um, just thinking if I've played with literally everyone um, except Kiera. And then, you know, she exploded the other night against Connecticut. And, you know, she's she's somebody that I know. I, I wish I could have played with when I was younger, um, you know, more in my prime because she's just so explosive, has great hands, runs the floor extremely well, um, coachable. You know, she she listens to teammates and coaches and their instructions, just trying to help her. So she's really good with feedback, um, great energy, great personality. Um, got that swag to her, got that bite, uh, which you need. Every, every team needs a dog. She's one of them, uh, even though she's a young pup. Um, on the defensive side of the ball, her shot blocking ability. Uh, I'm just overall really, really impressed. She's got ways to go as far as her overall feel and, and just making reads. Um, but that's like any young player. Uh, but she's, yeah, she's the real deal. Um, and I'm really happy that, you know, I have an opportunity to play with her. Awesome. And, and TT, for you, 
you know, what's been working well for you individually these first couple of games? I know you got that, uh, what was it, Dog of the Night award on Friday. Um, what's been working well? I think just sticking to the game plan and playing hard um, and just doing what my team needs me to do um, and just being professional. And we, we saw that video uh, from the Mystics uh, of you getting that that hard hat. What was going through your head in, in the locker room at that point? Um, I was actually surprised. I mean, it's a new tradition, so it's something new. Um, but, I mean, it's part of the job. So, I mean, I'm going to continue to do that when I get the opportunity. Thank you both. Any other questions? I think we're finished then. Thank you both. Thank you.